Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we'll see the question coin change. You are given coins of different denominations and a total amount of money, that is amount. Write a function to compute the fewest number of coins that you need to make up the amount. If that amount of money cannot be made up by any combination of the coins, you need to return minus 1. Assume that you have infinite number of each kind of coin. So for the first example, you are given coins 1, 2 and 5 and the amount is 11. So the minimum number of coins that you would need is 3, that is 5, 5 and 1. Example 2, you have coins with denomination 2 and amount that you need to make is 3. So there is no way you can make 3 by combining 2 with any number of 2s. And so the answer is minus 1. Over here the amount is 0 and so you do not need any coin to form 0, so the output is 0. Similarly for the other examples also. So now how do we solve this question? One of the things that we can use is DP, either bottom up or top down. In this video we will see the bottom up approach. That is we will take the smallest coin and then go up to the highest coin and try to make up the amount that is given and reduce the number of coins required by the end. So let's quickly see an example and the approach that we are going to follow. So let's take this first example wherein we are given three denominations 1, 2 and 5 and we need to make 11 out of it. So initially we will take a DP array that would be of size amount plus 1 so that our last index would be equal to the amount we are going to get. Initially in the DP array we will store amount plus 1 as the value and for the 0th position we will store 0 and then we will start iterating over our coins and check what are the number of coins that I am requiring for making that particular amount. So we will start with 1 and my formula would be dp of i would be equal to dp of i or dp of i minus coin plus 1. For each denomination the one thing that we are going to keep in mind is that we will start from the index that is equal to the denominations. Now why so? Because anything less than that particular amount would not be using the coin that I am calculating for. So as my first coin is 1, I will start from my index 1 and see what are the number of coins that are going to be required if I am considering this denomination 1. So for making the amount 1, I can either use the number that is currently present in that particular DP array or I can use a number that is my current DP minus the coin that I am using plus 1 for that particular coin that I will be using to form that sum. So that is given by DP of I minus coin plus 1. This one is for using the particular coin and this i minus coin is the number of coins required for forming this value or this amount. So for 1 we can calculate it as 1 over here because minimum of 12 and 1 is 1. Let's move forward to 2. Now for 2 the minimum would be either dp of 2 or dp of 2 minus 1 because if I am using this one coin in it, I will have to find the number of coins I was using for my dp of 2 minus 1 that is for forming the amount 1 which is 1 plus 1 for this coin. So this gives me 2. Minimum of 12 and 2 is 2. So 2 got updated. Similarly for 3 and for all the other numbers. So if I am just using the coin of 1, these are the number of coins I will be using to form the amounts. Now let's consider the coin 2 also. So now here the case is that I am considering both the coins 1 and 2. So I will start with index 2 as my current denomination is 2 and the value would be using the same formula that is minimum of either dp of 2 or dp of i minus coin. So over here I can see that I can just use one coin of 2 and form the amount 2. This formula also gives me the same answer. That is either I can use two coins from the previous calculation or I can add this coin of two and make the use of only one coin and that minimum is one. So we update the value in the DPRA. Similarly, we do for three also. So over here using the formula, my answer come out to be two. So I update it and I move forward. If I fill the array, I'll get this as my 
number of coins required so here you can see that the numbers have now reduced because i am using two denominations now let's go to 5 as i want to use 5 i'll start with the index 5 as this is the first point i can use that coin so now over here the minimum would become either the 3 from using the coins of 1 and 2 or 1 from just using this coin of 5 so my answer minimum would be 1 and so i'm updating it if i do it for 6 it would also come out to be same that is minimum of 3 or dp of 6 minus 5 that is dp of 1 and 1 for this 5 rupee coin so that gives me 2 and similarly for 7 and the others now now that i have used all the coins that were given to me my answer would be in the amount that is the dp of amount now there can be a condition wherein my dp of amount has not changed so this would still be greater than amount so that is the case where I will be returning minus 1 that I cannot form the particular amount from the given coins that I have with me. So this is all about the question. Now one thing, what is the time complexity over here? The time complexity over here would be the number of coins multiplied by the amount and that would be C into N and the space complexity would be the space used for this DP array which is amount. So that's it about this question. Let's quickly go and code it out. So I will be taking a DP array and that would be of length amount plus 1 and I will firstly fill my array with amount plus 1. After I have done this, I need to initialize my DP of 0 with 0 and now I am ready to loop over my array. So the first or the outer loop would be for my coins. So for each coin. I now need to iterate over my DP array. So for that, I'll be starting from the coin that I'm having. Over here, I am just going to update my value. So this value would be the minimum of either my DP of I or DP of I minus coin and that plus one for the current coin. After everything is done, I can just return the DP of amount. But here there is a catch as I said that whenever there would be a situation that the amount cannot be formed with the given coins, you need to return minus one. So that minus one condition we need to put into our return statement. And so that would be given by if my DP of amount is less than the amount less than or equal to the amount I can simply return my DP of amount or else I can return minus one so that's it let's try to run this code and it's running perfectly fine let's submit this and it got submitted so the time complexity as we mentioned would be C into n that is C into amount and the space complexity would be O of amount so this was the bottom up approach for DP. There is one more approach that is top down approach, which would be a recursive approach, but that is for another video. So that's it for today. I'll see you in another one. Till then, keep learning, keep coding.